As the dust settles on Ireland's victorious Six Nations campaign, attention turns towards this summer's tour to South Africa and a difficult autumn schedule. The provinces will take centre stage once again over the coming weeks, but behind the scenes, Ireland head coach Andy Farrell will be putting plans in place by taking stock of his squad's depth chart. Starting at fullback, Farrell got a good look at his options during the Six Nations in light of Hugo Keenan and Jimmy O'Brien's injuries, with Kieran Frawley and Jordan Armour both getting starts in the number 15 jersey. On the right wing, the emergence of Calvin Nash as a test quality player has been very encouraging as he helped offset the loss of Matt Hansen. On the opposite flank, James Lowe had a good tournament, but O'Brien's absence highlighted the reliance on his Leinster teammate as Jacob Stockdale has endured a mixed season with Ulster. The midfield options have rarely been as strong, with Bundy Aki, Robbie Henshaw, Gary Ringrose and Stuart McCloskey all top quality operators. However, Farrell will be wary of his lack of depth at outside centre, which could prompt the Ireland boss to call up Munster's Antoine Frisch. Jack Rowley has cemented his place at out half, but the fit again Ross Byrne will hope to put pressure on, as will his younger brother Harry, who featured twice during Six Nations. Frawley's versatility continues to mean that he is caught between two stools, while Leinster are excited about the potential of 21-year-old Sam Prendergast. Jameson Gibson Park has become one of Ireland's most important players, but Conor Murray is in the autumn of his career and Craig Casey only featured once in the Six Nations. It's a similar story at Lucid, where Ireland are extremely reliant on Andrew Porter. Keane Healy will turn 37 later this year and there is uncertainty over Dave Kilcoyne's future. However, Leinster do have some promising props in their ranks, including 20-year-old Paddy McCarthy, Big Joe's younger brother. On the tight head side, Ty Furlong impressed in the Six Nations. Finley Beelham continues to be an able deputy, while capping Munster prop Oli Jaeger was a big boost. Interestingly, Ulster's Tom O'Toole has been training at Loosehead ahead of a potential positional switch. Farrell is well stocked at hooker between Dan Sheehan, Ronan Kelleher, Rob Herring and Tom Stewart. The lock stocks are also healthy as Joe McCarthy's rise saw him join Ty Byrne, James Ryan and Ian Henderson, while Munster's 21-year-old second row Edwin Adogbo has all the attributes to further enhance the depth chart in the coming years. In the back row, Ireland captain Peter O'Mahony is weighing up his future, but Ryan Baird is a ready-made replacement, with Tom O'Hearn also making great strides. With no like-for-like -like backup for Josh van der Fleer, Farrell will hope that Will Connors can rediscover his best form, with Munster's John Hodnett and Leinster's Scott Penny still uncapped. Finally, both the age profile and quality of Ireland's number eights bodes well for the future. Caelan Doris has been tipped to become the next Ireland captain. Jack Conan is a starting test lion, while Nick Timoney, Gavin Coombs and Max Deegan are also in the mix. Regularly assessing Ireland's depth chart is a key part of Andy Farrell's job, and although he will be largely encouraged by the quality at his disposal, he will also be mindful that a couple of key positions could perhaps be stronger. For all the best rugby coverage, stay tuned to the Irish Independent website.